Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars minifigure collection update slash review. So I haven't done one of these minifigure collections in probably over half a year. Um, I believe the last one I did was in June of last year so it's closing on to about a year since I last showed off my minifigure collection. And now that I kind of have the summer um, uh, 2016 set minifigures as well as the new 2017 winter set minifigures in this collection it's definitely grown um, in terms of size so right here we have 312 I believe individual minifigures so the one thing about this collection is there are no duplicates each and every one of these minifigures is a different version or variant of a figure so there are no duplicates and again I didn't add duplicates to this wall because then that would be like a lot more minifigures, probably double at least um, the number I have here, especially with the number of clones and all. Um, but still, today we're going to be taking a quick look at this entire collection. Um, you guys really liked this video in the past, so I thought why not come at you with another update. Now, uh, for those of you who are new uh, to the channel, basically what I do to display my minifigures is I use base plates. So I take... Uh, you can see these are just the large 48 by 48 base plates. And then what I do is take two of these pieces here. So these are the um, uh, bricks with a stud on the side. You can see right there. And I basically take two together and place a minifigure on top. So it's kind of like this where you take the uh, bricks, you place them on the side and put a minifigure on top and then connect it to the base plate. So it's a really simple way, it definitely looks really nice, plus it's a lot easier than buying those 200 plus dollar expensive minifigure cases. Uh, this is definitely a lot cheaper and you can kind of just change it up whenever you want, add more, take out some. So it's really um, easy to change as well. But anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at these minifigures. Before we get started, why not um, in the past videos, like past 3-4 videos, I've made a collection. People have always asked me what is the most expensive figure or rare figure that you have in the collection. And that would actually be the Cloud City Luke. So he goes for over $120 on Bricklink. I also have the Smooth Haired Princess Leia. She goes for about $100 plus dollars on Bricklink. So it's a couple of expensive figures um, in the collection. But anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at the collection.
All right, but anyways, there you go. There is a look at the entire Lego Star Wars minifigure collection. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Definitely, if you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be great. Of course, do not forget to subscribe and check out some of my other custom builds and reviews on my channel below. So, this is BrickWizard59. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.